The Harder Time is a legendary pulse rifle obtained from opening legendary engram packages from Future War Code. In the first faction rally event for Destiny 2, this was the weapon that would have been discounted to a thousand glimmer to purchase by those who pledged the Future War Code if Future War Code would have won the faction rally. But as of presently, this weapon is in a loot pool for weapons and armor that have a chance of dropping from Future War Code engrams. The Harder Time is one of three legendary pulse rifles in the 540 rounds per minute archetype. The other two being the Lincoln Green and the Iron Banner pulse rifle of the Time War Inspired. But as of presently, this is the only legendary pulse rifle in its respective archetype to be in the energy weapon slot. Like the other pulse rifles in the 540 RPM archetype, this weapon has rapid fire frame as its intrinsic perk. Its sights consist of candle PS, a clear open sight with a very short zoom, and impulse MS3, a big bulky scope that gives this weapon a small range increase at the expense of some much needed peripheral vision. The impulse MS3 is literally a waste on the harder time since it doesn't complement the nature and functionality of the weapon in the slightest. The harder time has quit firing, has poor base, stability, and range, so equipping a scope sight on this weapon and shooting from afar does not turn it into a marksman weapon and requires you to utilize it in a completely opposite way that it's meant to be used. When it comes to steady rounds of tactical mag, it's really up to you which one you want to use, but I always use tactical mag for the increases in range, reload speed, and the three extra rounds of the magazine. The only problem with selecting tactical mag over steady rounds is the hit that you take the stability, but provided that you're using an energy counterbalance mod, and you should be, the decrease in stability is barely noticeable, especially if you use this weapon as a Hunter with two energy counterbalance mods. The final perk is Dragonfly, which causes enemies killed with a precision shot to explode with elemental damage. To be blunt with you, this perk is complete trash, and it's saddening to see how underwhelming it is because its D1 equivalent Firefly was one of the best perks in the game. But as of now, the closest thing we have to Firefly is the Sunshot's Sunblast perk. Dragonfly isn't going to get you any multi kills unless the enemy you kill with a precision shot is literally holding hands with another enemy since the explosion's blast radius is so small. So in short, this perk is not not only terrible but incredibly situational and just a wasted perk as a whole this is because of this archetype being more tailored to pvp and if you thought that dragonfly was useless in pve where it's meant to shine imagine how useless it is in pvp recently i spoke of the imperativeness of using an energy counterbalance mod while using this weapon since it pulls slightly to the right while firing one energy counterbalance mod is all you need to be able to easily tame a recoil and two energy counterbalance mods makes the recoil almost entirely vertical at the time of making this video i didn't have a hundred to be able able to demonstrate the weapon's recoil behavior while using two energy counterbalance mods so forgive me in pvp this weapon actually performs pretty well being a 540 rpm pulse rifle the harder time has a maximum time to kill of 1.13 seconds so all it'll take to put a guardian down is nine crits and three body shots when i use this weapon in the crucible i very seldomly lost gunfights provided that i engage at close to mid range anything beyond that and you'll encounter some problems since you'll be fighting this weapon's recoil as much as you're fighting your actual opponent in pve on the other hand i would recommend putting this weapon in the vault the second that you step outside the crucible some may say that statement is going a bit too far but trust me when i say it is not the harder time has no business being used in any pve activity because its archetype has very little use here fires very quickly so you'll be reloading fairly often which ruins its dps potential you think that dragonfly would give it some crowd control utility but as stated before dragonfly is an incredibly underwhelming perk that doesn't even work in the way it's intended or at all for that matter but yeah it's been real everybody but that's all i got for you all for the time being don't forget to drop your video concepts suggestions in the comment section but until next time one lhd over and out keep it smooth